If you're not sure what you want to do, go ahead. I -E. I.E. Yes. Yeah, it's so versatile. You can go in, in like literally any field. You can do business, engineering, manufacturing, like so many. Anybody can succeed in engineering. <laughs> To do this because I just have to like after the intro it's like <laughs> special guest today guys Miss Aubrey Paredes <laughs> Yo I'm you afraid that know, I'm... oh my god I know I know your last name I just don't know I just didn't know if it was a rolled a rolled R or it not is, but you can say the yeah. English version yeah 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Miss Aubrey Paredes aka this is why you need a I'm gonna make it impossible for you to edit it well. I'm gonna be like, AKA fellow IE student, AKA newer for 1.5 to 2 years, 3 years. Okay, somewhere 1. in there. 1.5. Well, somewhere in there. AKA Queen of the oh DR. God. There we go. How about that? That was a good one. Sure. That was a good one. AKA. I don't know what the DR is. We're gonna inform him in this video. Wait, are we now just starting? Have you had to retake any classes yet? Um, Calc 3. That's the only one. Calc 3, I got like. I didn't do that bad on the first exam, so I was like, okay, cool. So then, but 314, I failed like really bad the first exam, so I was like, okay, 314, like all the time now. And then it flipped. I did really good on 314, second exam, and then really bad on the second exam. For now, so. That's pretty good though. One retake? Like one, like real yeah, retake? Yeah, one real retake. The other ones were just dropped. That's like, not bad. Statics I dropped, and I think that's. And you're pretty much through, you're pretty much, you're, if once you pass this course, you're pretty much through all of the MAE coursework, yes. tough stuff, right? Mm hmm. Because I'm done with calculus, so just this freaking class, this and thermal, I heard it's kind of hard though. So I would fail, I would fail every every semester, I would fail a class, and I would fail, oh yeah, I, I hate, I hate like some classes. Like F classes. fail oh, or F, like F, F, straight what? up. So every semester, okay. I would fail one of those classes, mm -hmm. and I'd pass the IE, and then pass the IE classes, uh -huh. and then fail one of those classes, and then pass the, the regular IE class. So what happens yeah. if you look at your schedule, right? It's like these classes are getting pushed to like the end, right? And now you have all and now you have all those classes yeah. that you failed <laughs> at the end. What what got you yeah. into engineering? Um, I had. I had a lot of influence because my dad was electrical engineering. That's awesome. In the Dominican Republic. That's awesome. But um, I have a lot of family members that are engineering. Like it runs in a family. So I was like, I wasn't new to it. I already. Yeah. Knew. So you come from a, a lineage of kind engineers. Of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So my brother's computer engineering. My dad's electrical. So are they making fun of you because you're industrial? My brother. Listen, we'll attack him. All right, we'll attack him. We'll get the army after him. All right. Don't, right? Don't. <laughs> my brother tries, but you know he's. He was, he's not like, like I could have done better in his major than he would. Like, Ooh, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> so I don't really shots feel, fired like, for sure. When he does say that, like I don't feel some type of way. I'm like, okay, you know. Yeah, right, right, right. He knows to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I actually went to University of Maryland, College Park, my first semester. Right. And then I left for military training. And then I came back here because at this university, military covers 100% tuition and fees. Oh, they don't do that in Maryland? No, it's only 50% of six credits. So it's like. That's it? Credits. Yeah. They, they cover three credits? Yeah, and they write it like purposely like that, like 50% of six credits, instead of saying three credits. What does West Virginia say? 100% of everything? Yeah, tuition. And oh my god, that's, that's crazy. crazy! I knew that going in though, but I was like, Maryland was like my dream school though. You know what I mean? Like, and you aren't. Tell me if. Don't what? lie to me, oh Aubrey. My God. Don't lie to what? me. Going into Maryland and you know that it's six credits, yeah. you don't have any plan, right? You're just no. like, I'm going to find a way to make this work no, and I have I to had get to Maryland. Scholarships. Like, I had a lot of private scholarships, though. And you knew that they would work all the way through or just at the beginning? No, they work for it. Like, a lot of them work for like a year. You know what I mean? So it's like. Right. Yeah, okay. I had a okay, lot of. Okay. Yeah, look, hey, I was I just. Was very, huh, okay, I don't just do things like to look crazy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm very planned person. Trust me. Especially when it comes to my life like this. Literally we're different <laughs> you people. You just go like, you're whimsical, like you just whoop. Oh, no, whimsical. Like, I'm you're defining very... as whimsical. I don't know how I feel <laughs> no, about <I'm> this. <laughs> when I actually experienced, like, and I saw, like, my financial aid and, like, my births are, like, my bill, I was like, wait, this is, I can't, you know I me mean, just because, like, I think it's a good school or whatever, like, I can't, like, financially. Just Maryland is expensive. expensive. And I was out of state. How much is Maryland? Out of yeah, state. Yeah. After graduation, what's your goal? Industrial engineer, graduating I mean, the class now, of, like, of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Did I guess that right? 
Yeah, yeah. Let's go! That's wow, what I'm talking you about. Know that. Let's go! Oh my god. <laughs> that was a complete that was random a, guess. For real? 100%. You're such a bad. 100% guess. Acquaintance? Why are you saying bad? That was good. Because, I guessed no, it. What I, was saying, I guessed how it. How many times have we had this conversation? Like, uh, never. <laughs> yes. I don't know which field I want to go into yet. Like, I. I was even thinking of going to marketing. Like I had an internship at um, Anheuser Busch, which is supply chain logistics. Right. I loved it. I really did. But like I also want a different experience so I could know like that that's definitely right for me. Yeah, right. Because that's only so, one thing that exactly. you tried. I How do like, you ever? So know? many different fields. Yeah. Right. So like I want to do something completely like not different, but like something a little bit more like. A little unorthodox for engineering, I guess you could say, like marketing, maybe like business type thing, because we could also do that with IEs, you know? Oh, Isn't God. this the craziest? What? You can see I'm about to pounce. Can't you see that <laughs> this is? Can't you tell that this, that, that I, me, if you're not sure what you want to do, go to IE. IE, yes. Yeah, it's so versatile. You can go in, in like literally any field. You can do business, engineering, manufacturing, like so many different things. You can go outside of engineering yes. and still like, completely do anything you want no problem like marketing yep. i've been talking about that for forever yeah like i use marketing yeah. to be great yeah you have the you have the oh yeah. wait whimsical no Drop oh my god <laughs> whimsical let's say it again whimsical oh you should have like a little sound effect every whimsical. time it's said <gasps> that ding, so ding, cool. ding. Yeah. counter in the corner <laughs> yeah. the question that i had i should say as a mm. kid coming into industrial engineering was that like that's cool, I'm going to end industrial engineering, but you don't have any idea like really what it's about. Yeah. You kind of know what it's about, yeah, like but you don't know that you yeah. don't know that you're about to take a simulations mm -hmm. class and you're about to take a class on, <laughs> oh, on lean manufacturing, then yeah. you're gonna take a class on data analytics, right? There's a mm -hmm. bunch of you're like clueless. Oh, I need to take three classes on statistics. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Statistics. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as that sounds cliche, but like no, 220 was so What was that? Systems? What was the real name for it? Um, Systems. Like engineering Productive system, something like okay, that. Okay. Oh, I feel like that's so useful. Um, really I'm, useful, actually. Yeah, and the way he formats the class, like we do case studies, and then he like he asks us first, like, hey, how should we do this? How should we approach this? And then like he puts his two cents into it. Like I like that. Yeah. So you like I, you like him asking you the case study, like you're about to really solve it. Yeah, exactly. And then he comes in with his experience and tells you like, or guides you and be like, okay, yeah, but like, and he puts like his two cents into it, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I like that, definitely. Because it makes cool. you think for yourself first, and then after you get help, instead of like vice versa. I love that. Yeah, because yeah. if you don't think for yourself first, like how is this actually, no. you're probably just droning off. Like, exactly, and if you're guided off. from the beginning, you you don't like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not really like your own thoughts. Like, it's just, you know, it's like your instructor's like perspective on things, not really yours, you know what I mean? Like, it's not. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was not paying attention. I'll see about this call. Wow, you are I'll so. About this call yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Manager. Right. <laughs> Don't ever Listen, I told you we're not. I told you we're not professional. Listen, I, I, <laughs> all right. So back to um, what you're saying. National Guard. Is it worth it or not? And yes. what, what's the National Guard do? Okay. National Guard is worth it if you are a college student. Yes, because I know a lot of people who are gonna come out with like a hundred. K plus and loans and stuff like that. Like National Guard covers, depending on the state, covers tuition and fees. You miss school a lot sometimes, but it's 100% worth it, yeah. For what you get in return, it's 100% worth it. If I was like to go back in a mm -hmm. time capsule, I would definitely look way more into things like that. Yeah. I'm so serious because mm -hmm. I, I I came in and I had like your basic scholarships and right. I didn't have the promise. I didn't have some of those things, but I had some of like your basic grants, basic scholarships that a lot of kids get. Mm -hmm. And I uh, I was just thinking like that was good enough. And I just I was naive in the sense of like I didn't know how things yeah. were paid for, right? That's Until you true. see the bill yeah. and you're like, oh snap. I know. That's why I'm like I'm so happy I had like military influence in my life because I would have never heard about that and I would have been like. What do you mean military influence? Because my dad was in the military, so that like made me look into it. Like, what kind of benefits does it have for college? You know what I mean? And then I really? saw that. Yeah. Okay, so now you're a part of the National Guard and. And ROTC Army. Oh. Army ROTC. Yes. Jeez. I know. Geez, it's a, it's a lot. So you have to. Why did you end up doing the Army one? So is that, the Army is that, ROTC. You yeah. Mean? Because I want to be an officer. Oh, and now you have to go to officer school or do a, some type of class or program. Yeah, which is ROTC. I want to, you do ROTC for four years, the coursework, and then you become an officer. Like you can, after you graduate, you commission as a second lieutenant. You know how many times that like, like when you have exams, right? And your friends are like, oh, I'll just stay up to like one in the morning doing it, whatever. But you have, you have to be up at like five in the morning the next day. So you can't like stay up late doing studying. Like you, you lose so much time. Yeah. No. So it's a lot of sacrifices, but. It's worth it. We're point. never gonna have a script on this show, let me tell you. 
Next episode. <laughs> Next episode, we'll we have like scripts. a green yes. screen. I love the show, Aubrey. Okay, so you know, I was saying that like, you were asking me, do you want to climb up? I was like, yes, of oh, course. Oh, corporate ladder. Yeah, corporate ladder or your own business venture. You know what I mean? Like, um, cause what I did for 474, like I got so excited when I was working and doing my assignments and like, you know, like, you know, doing it with Dr. Bird and stuff. Yeah. So I got really excited about that. So when you asked me like, do you want to climb up? Like, yes, but I have, I would rather like, you know, like have my own business venture. Like that's what I'm focusing on rather than climbing up. To You're me, right. it feels like a lifetime ago. Right. Are you serious? Okay, okay. I mean, I mean not in a way. Yeah, I'm a whimsical person, you know? <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> no, take that part out, for real. I'll sue you. <laughs> this rubber, I'm gonna burn this gasoline and set it on fire, 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 fire. Hope someone sees it, bless me.